Hey guys, good morning. What is freaky of you guys? Welcome to another vlog. Today is July 18th, which is absolutely batshit crazy because I cannot believe it is halfway through July. That is crazy. I feel like 2021 is happening way too fast. I'm getting older by the day and I don't want to get older, but I just put on the cutest little outfit. I did my hair and my makeup and I was like, I should probably just vlog today because I'm looking real cute. I have been loving the hair and you guys have been giving me so many compliments on the hair. So thank you guys. I honestly was afraid to go blonde blonde again but i think we're gonna go even lighter than this in less than a month so stay tuned but i put on this cute little dress this dress is from white fox boutique i picked it out for myself when i went to a white fox event with mia and remy i literally lost all my footage from that event so i did vlog that day and i'm so sad because i don't have any of that footage i love white fox and in today's video, we are sponsored by White Fox, which is amazing because I genuinely love White Fox. I shop at White Fox and I really do think they have really good quality pieces. I've never had any issues with their clothing and I do have a discount code because they are sponsoring today's video. So use my discount code for 15% off your entire order. I'm going to have the discount code right here. It'll also be linked down below for you guys. I am so excited to like open up this package from White Fox because I actually didn't pick out any of these clothes. I asked Matt if he wanted to pick out some clothes for me. I have honestly been changing my style. I've just been a lot more comfortable with wearing tighter fitting clothing that just show off my body. My assets, my flat ass pancake body, which I'm fine with. I'm happy with my little itty bitty titties. I asked Matt if he wanted to choose some clothes for me because I just genuinely want to know what he would pick up for me. And he did make a comment before that he didn't love my style like three years ago. So Matt spent about $1,000 on all of my clothes. I'm genuinely curious what is in here. We have a big old box. Also, if you guys didn't know, White Box also offers afterpay. Okay, so we got one box and a bag. So we got a bunch of shit. I'm super excited about this. So I think I should start with the bag. No, I should start with the box. So we're gonna start off with the box. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, okay. Wait, I like freaked out because I was like, none of these things look recognizable to me. Like, I don't think I picked these out. Then I realized, duh, I didn't pick out any of these clothes. Matt did. Let's see what we have picked out. Oh, these are cute. <gasps> these are so cute. A plus, Matthew. This is really cute. Could definitely see myself wearing these. I definitely don't have sunglasses that look like this. So this is new. I feel like these are the sunglasses you kind of wear, like not actually on the bridge of your nose, but like way down at your nostrils. They have these cute little emblems on the side, which kind of reminds me of the Versace emblem. I would say A plus, definitely something I would 100% be wearing. All right, next thing we got is an oversized t-shirt. Not gonna lie, not huge into black. All right, guys, I just love tucking in oversized t-shirts like this. I actually do really like this t-shirt it kind of reminds me of like a vintage tee because it's acid wash this has like detailing to it it's not your basic black t-shirt super cute definitely a little different i think this is like a four out of five stars i love it oh this feels nice this is so cool <sighs> also it comes in a two-piece set so it also comes with a nice little skirt i love these midi skirts i don't know why oh and it's asymmetrical matthew this is like five out of five. All right, guys, this is the outfit. What? I know I look so sophisticated in this outfit. I love this so much. I kind of want this outfit in like a bunch of other colors as well. Just because I think it looks so good. It fits so well. Like, look at that. It looks like I have a butt. Your girl does not actually have a butt, but it looks like I have a butt. This actually hits right off the top of my calves. This looks amazing. Five out of five. Good job, Matt. We honestly have a lot of colors that I personally would not choose for myself, but would look really good on my skin tones. Oh, this is a really cute top. This is like the idiotiest video top ever. Like literally if I moved, my nipples would be showing, but this is actually very, very cute. It makes me look so tan i really like the top the bottom is a little big but i do like this little ruffle detailing to it i would say this is four out of five <sighs> i see something i love this is like so y2k everyone is kind of into the crazy graphics and i've actually been wanting something that is in zebra print this is like hands down definitely something I would choose for myself. I love little dresses that just accentuate your waist. This is so freaking cute. Oh, baby. 
I am in love with this dress. Are you kidding me? I would have never thought to grab this as a dude. I'm actually so proud of Matthew. I love this. I love this. I have no words, five out of five. Next, oh my God, I have a dress. Looks exactly like this, but in a different color. I honestly would have never thought this color would look good on me, but with my hair color and everything, this actually looks pretty fucking fire. So this is one of those dresses where you wear it, Duh. But you tie it on the sides so you can make it as short as you want it to and I like going short Like really fucking short with these types of dresses. Oh my god I'm actually really obsessed with this dress I would have never thought in a million years this color would be the color that I might start wearing forever I don't even know what to call this color. I think it's like a military green meets gunmetal so good on my skin tone I love it. Also so comfortable this dress is so soft. And yeah, like I said earlier, you can make this dress as short or as long as you want it to. So cute. So yeah, five out of five. Matt did great. All right, we have jeans, which is honestly surprising to me because I don't know why. Does that mean that Matt doesn't like the jeans that I currently have and he wants me to have better jeans? I'm not gonna lie, I don't have a lot of ripped jeans like this and I kind of dig them. So these are definitely straight legged, very like boyfriend jeans vibes, which isn't the best, like the most flattering on myself. I'm not gonna lie. I normally like super high waisted jeans that are baggy, but like really cinched in. And this looks like a boyfriend cut. Okay, not all of them can be winners. These are the boyfriend jeans that I was talking about. I do love the rips in them. I just personally am not a boyfriend jean kind of gal. Again, I don't have an hourglass shape. I am very much a refrigerator, so I definitely need jeans that are super high-waisted, that are super cinched in, that like cinch in my waist and everything. Honestly, this is like a little too baggy for my taste. It just makes me look short. I can definitely see girls who are not 5'2 wearing this, so if you guys are like 5'4", these are going to be perfect. I'm going to rate this like a 2 out of 5. <gasps> Is this a headscarf? No. Matthew, what? This totally looks like a headscarf Fendi would come out with. This is so freaking fire. I have been obsessed with these headscarves lately and the fact that Matt grabbed me one is really shocking to me. I don't know why I'm so shocked by this. I just would have never guessed that he would have known that this is something I would have 100% grabbed myself, but I absolutely love headscarves. I don't wear them enough. This is kind of how I would wear my headscarf. Definitely better than this because I'm not really taking my time. Another way I would wear this headscarf is just of course the normal way which is like tying it around like a bandana. I've seen some girls wear like these scarves as dresses. I don't know how that's possible. How do people wear it like this? I don't even need to try this on and know that I'm gonna love this thing five out of five. Good job, Matthew. All right, so we have a little crop top. This is actually really cute. We got a little crop top. This says White Fox Society. Oh, I kind of would definitely wear this with the jeans, like the crop top and jeans. That's so cute. Okay, we got some black. We got, oh, what is this? What is this? I think this is how you wear it. It's one of these little tops, like the tops that barely exist, but definitely exists and this feels like a really good quality top this is like nice and thick my nipples will not be showing so cute definitely something that i don't own but is a really good pick so i'm gonna say this is five out of five okay another crop top in a neutral color how did he know i love my like whites and cream and beiges like look how cute neutrals just look with my hair okay guys i'm loving the top top so cute i mean it's literally just a basic crop top you really can't go wrong with the basic crop top that's in an off-white color five out of five would definitely be wearing this all throughout the rest of summer this is actually so cute so i did ask matt to pick me out some bathing suits because i just need new bathing suits in my life and he picked me out one that is in black and white not gonna lie this is definitely not a bathing suit color i would personally wear i actually do really really like the cut of it in the pattern imagine if this was in like blue or 
brown or any other color than black okay guys here is the swimsuit that matt chose for me i'm not gonna lie the actual like shape of the swimsuit super cute i love everything about it minus the fact that it's black because i'm just not the type of person that wears black to the pool i feel like that's just like very anti-summer so i'm gonna have to dock a couple points for the color choice because matthew you know i don't wear black that often i'm definitely not wearing a black swimsuit i would say three out of five these bottoms so cute just wish they were in a different color <gasps> what's this oh but this is pretty freaking fire like definitely would wear this to a date <gasps> oh my god even better i thought this was gonna be like a mini skirt no it's a little more sophisticated than that girl it is a midi i love this i actually really like this you can show a little more skin on the top when you like have a longer dress it's a little more sophisticated like 100% would wear this on a date. Too bad I did not open this box yesterday because Matt and I did go on a date night last night and that would have been like a perfect little dress to wear. Okay guys, so this was actually the outfit that I was most excited to try on and I think Matt did a fucking fiery job. <gasps> I mean, I will say she's a little long just because I am a shorty. If I was like six inches taller, like the model was probably, I think this would look amazing. But it does fit really well. I can easily just cut off like two or three inches and it would be perfect because I think I want to hit it right above my calves, not below my calves. But I kind of want this in like a bunch of different colors. Look how beautiful this is. Imagine if I came to a funeral in this dress. I would be kicked out. This is not a funeral dress, baby. This is like, oh, she's doing stuff. Also, just look how pancake my body is i still love her though five out of five matt did a great job <gasps> we have matching sweat oh that's even better give me some neutral tie-dye i am in love this just says white box on it oh they're soft they're soft they're not fuzzy but they're actually really soft so these are like perfect sweats for the summer and it came with a matching top i already know i'm gonna love this so i'm already gonna give this a five out of five without actually trying it on yet bitch what this is so cute okay this might be my favorite thing i put on this entire time are you kidding this looks so good. Even like a little bit low on the waist. I know that this is back in style. I absolutely hate the fact that low rise jeans are back in style, but like this would be actually pretty fire. Low rise. Definitely would still wear it high rise. I'm not gonna lie. Don't love that look. I don't wanna put anything else on. This is the last outfit I'm trying on. This is so freaking adorable. I love that the top and the bottom match. This is definitely five out of five. All right, guys. So I tried everything on. General consensus. I think Matt did a really fire job. If I was to rate his skills, I would rate his skills based on color and things I would actually want to wear. I would say overall, he would get like a B plus. The only reason he wouldn't get an A is the fact that he chose a lot of colors I personally just don't wear in general, which are like the bright colors or like a black swimsuit or even just like the colorful crazy prints. I get where he's going with that stuff because that's stuff I used to wear. It's just not things I gravitate towards anymore. White Fox Boutique has some like really cute sexy pieces and he definitely stayed in like the more not too showy things which i'm kind of shocked at i'm loving this set right here you guys definitely need to grab this set i'm gonna spend the rest of the day making food because it's almost dinner time so we're gonna make some food right now i'm also gonna link down all the clothes that i showed you guys down below make sure to check out white box make sure to use my discount code for 15 percent off as well guess who i'm with me. I told Matt that I gave him a B plus. He said he's pretty happy with the B plus. So as long as he's I'll happy. Take a B plus. Yeah, he said he's gonna take a B plus. I'm gonna actually try to get off all my nail colors. So I am going to the nail salon for the first time tomorrow. Before I do that, I want to take off all of these nails. I still might genuinely just do them myself. Still, I want to do it before tomorrow because Tammy and I actually have plans to get our pedicures done together tomorrow, and I just don't want them to look at my nails, being like, "Why is this girl not getting her nails done?" I I personally just like doing my own nails. It's very therapeutic. I do crazy fun colors and I don't know. It's just been fun for me. So I don't care to pay for someone to do my fingernails. Getting a pedicure done is like an entire experience and I'm doing it because Tammy and I want to do it together. But also I just like, like getting my foot massage. So 
that's why I kind of want to show you guys how I do my nails because I get this question asked all the time from you guys I'll link my nail supplies down below as well because again I always get asked about this honestly I need to get like an actual nail box because my nail box is an old NYX box these are all of my nail supplies I probably spent like $200 on this entire set I bought a bunch of colors from Amazon these are like literally $2 a bottle and then I bought a bunch of these like nail charms that I realized I don't love you so like if you live in LA you need some nail charms girl come over I will give you these I don't need any of them just not really into them anymore I am currently gonna take off all these nails how I do that is I kind of use this guy which is a pet um, nail grinder or nail shaver I like to just take off the very top layer of the nail polish because my gel remover can't actually remove the top coat because it like seals everything so once I remove the top coat I grab this product this is life-changing it makes your gel polish bubble up it gets removed it's super easy so let me do that really fast and then show you guys what I like to do after that Hey guys, a little update. It is time to make dinner. It's 8 p.m. right now. I got all of my nail polish off my nails. Look how freaking long my nails are. Is that not insane? So I'm just gonna wash my hands and make us food. We are making chicken and coconut curry with rice. It's gonna be super easy to make, literally so easy. All right, so we got my rice, we got my little rice pot. <laughs> Duh. Can we just talk about how freaking cute this rice maker is? I think I've showed this to you guys like a million times, but literally it is the size of my head. It like perfectly makes like one to one and a half cups of rice. Also, if you guys are Asian or not Asian, you guys know you guys gotta wash your rice. There's a bunch of starch on your rice. You gotta wash it. You gotta wash her. All right, it's time to make the coconut curry. All I need is this coconut curry mix from Trader Joe's. And then I also have chicken and we just need a pot. <laughs> All right, this is the coconut curry I'm talking about. This is chicken breast medallions in a coconut red curry sauce. This never comes with enough chicken for both Matt and I. So I bought a pound of chicken breast as well. Also, I don't know if you guys know this or not because I got a bunch of comments last time I made chicken that I didn't wash my chicken. I used to think I had to wash my chicken too until literally like two months ago Matt told me that the USDA actually recommends that you don't wash your chicken what actually happens is that you wash all the salmonella or the bacteria all over your sink so then your entire sink is contaminated so they actually just don't suggest you wash your chicken anymore and they just suggest that you actually just cook it till it's completely cooked yeah you guys should not be washing your chickens anymore you don't have to Guys, I'm sad. I got sauce on me. I'm trying to wipe it off. I think most of it got wiped off. Matt literally just told me like four minutes ago, don't get sauce on your new outfit because he really liked it. And I swear he jinxed me. I swear he jinxed me. I think he jinxed me. In other news, I put the curry sauce into the pot and it's smelling so good. I wanted to show you guys. Whoa. Yum. I'm just gonna let this sit for like another five minutes and then it should be ready. The rice said it is ready. Let's take a look at her. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Honestly, this rice cooker was like the best money I've ever spent. It was like maybe $19, $20 max. I use this at least like three or four times a week and I cannot believe it's like still running along. The chicken is ready as well. This might be the dumbest idea or the best idea. I'm just gonna bite right into it. Oh yeah, she's cool. Oh my God, that is so good. That is so good. Hey guys, so it's the next day now. It's kind of late at night and I wanted to end the vlog here, but not to disappoint anyone, I did get my nails done today. Um, I went to the nail salon with my sister because she wanted to get our nails done together. I was planning on only doing a pedicure and showing you guys how I do my manis, but um, I ended up getting my nails done there too. So I'm gonna show you guys, they're so cute. This is gonna be for Lollapalooza. I'm not gonna lie, I picked the wrong freaking color. I should have picked a way lighter green for this dark green. I don't absolutely love it. Like I love how my nail girl did it. I just don't like the colors that I personally chose. I fucked up. 
But yeah, that is it with today's video. If you guys made it to the end of the video, comment down below what your nails look like right now because mine are looking crazy. We got green, we got purple. I kind of want to redo this hand and make it a different color. Let me know what you guys think about this hand color. But yeah, that's it. I love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.